What's up guys, it's Jones Legos, and this is Destiny's newest update for Destiny the Taken King. This is the update before the weapons, big weapons update. I'll be showing you a few new things they added. So, when you go to the Postmaster, she won't be here. Hello. She's going to be temporarily gone for right now. They're planning to do uh, different stuff with her. But you can find the Postmaster over here next to Eva. Let's just go see. Over here. What's up? And this is the new Postmaster. They're going to be more of these where they're going to have a whole bunch of emblems and shaders where... Uh, so we never have to delete them or worry about them anymore. So this is going to be really nice. You know, uh, Tess is temporarily gone. They didn't get rid of her. But uh, this is kind of nice to keep everything organized. And this is cool. They're adding new uh, stuff to the tower. I like it. And the newest thing is uh, when you go to your gear, you can actually rotate your guy to see what it looks like. Which is uh, really cool because I've been wanting to see like what the whole object looks like, not just like one part of it, which is uh, really nice. You can uh, go see all your gear, all your gear moves around. Your weapons don't move around, which would be cool if they uh, added that. But they probably will in the future. Your ghost, you can see the behind of your ghost now, which is pretty cool. And you can't you can't use your sparrow you can't view your sparrow or uh, ship yet but you can uh, view yourself with your uh, uh, shader on which is uh, pretty cool too so you can see the everything about your shader and uh, let's put this one on awesome and uh, they added a few new things to weapons fixed an issue where packing heat achievement trophy could not be unlocked by newly acquired exotic weapons, fixed an issue where the husk of the pit drops were disabled, drop rates for the husk of the pit drop from Blades of Crota have been increased by 150%. So I went back to the uh, Hunger of Crota mission, or the uh, Fist of a uh, Crota mission, and it gave, uh, it took me five tries to get my, uh, uh, husk of the pit, which is nice. I already have the necrochasm though But you can see that beautiful thing right here. That's hopefully they're gonna fix well. They are gonna fix which is gonna be much better and For PvP update the house of wolves control playlist to include the following maps with a lower weight weight weighing rotation rusted lands shores of time pantheon exodus blue which is PlayStation exclusive which is uh, pretty nice because when you do those uh, playlists, you want to play the new House of Wolves. You don't just do it to play the old ones. And then update the House of Wolves Clash playlist to include the following maps with a lower weight in the rotation. Firebase, Delpha, Twilight Gap, Blind Watch, Exodus Blue, which is also a PlayStation exclusive. For Inferno, Inferno and Doubles playlists now have a different turning values for ammo crates, special ammo, intel, spawn time, and respawn intervals has been changed to 180 seconds. Max of th three special ammo crates will now be placed at one time. Heavy ammo crates now spawn only once per match at 300 seconds. In the tower, which I already told you about, uh, about tests, and, but the Nepal aid shader and emblem have been added to the game which i haven't gotten the email yet but I'll, i'm assuming they will be sending out emails right now redemption codes will soon be sent to the emails used to place orders in the bungee store these items will not be found at the kiosk mentioned above and some technical issues fixed a potential crash when closing the vendor screen i never really noticed that uh, fixed a very rare case where an account could block by a weasel error on sign on I didn't really get that either and fix an issue with suspend resume handling on Xbox one I again I don't have an Xbox so that's the weekly update and see you later and goodbye